Hey everyone! Welcome back! I'm Mixer Casual. This is Project Gayhem. And I'm playing. What the fuck? We rely upon the live seed housed in the reactor found deep underground beneath the Soma facility. By harvesting the high energy yield oh, ghost. found within the valley, we pass their energy through the life seed, which mm. acts as a sort of amplifier, mm. magnifying the energy to unprecedented levels. The explosives we create here will dwarf anything the Manhattan Project mm. could ever possibly fathom. <laughs> That's not good, my dude. Whee. Oh, I don't know why I'm shooting at to make life here. But I'm also able to phase through that, so I don't even fucking know what's going on. No, from a researcher, the toxicology report came in from the autopsy can just sound the late Pathfinder fatality. As suspected, an excess of dick sex led to cardiac arrest. The sooner we circumvent the need for dick sex, the better. That's what I've been saying. Um. So, yeah, stuff, right? Um. So, I'm here in the valley. And, um, reading a note from researcher Miller. The other side is we're all talking about atoms. I told them not to trust them since they make up everything. They asked me to leave. Yeah, dude, as they should. That joke stops being, like, funny in, like, the day after you learn that atoms are a thing in, like, elementary school. Um, so, uh, this being a new recording session, I had to, uh, run back here, and on my way there, like, on my way here, I did, uh, actually manage to find another, like, battery bit, so, um, if you're keeping track of that thing, that sort of thing, um, that is why I am, I now have one more than I did when you last saw me, um, so, there we have it. Um, I also learned something really interesting um, when I was running back here. Because um, apparently after you have fed, or after you have fed these things, these bugs, you can actually, like, drain them back at which point they become hostile to you again. Um, which is really kind of interesting. Uh, because, you know, you don't have to. You can just jump through them repeatedly to get infinite energy. So there's really no point in draining them other than, like, for a slightly quicker slash easier fix. Um... Which, like... Shit, man, mechanics is metaphor! <gasps> no, from a researcher. I thought bombs being created were impressive enough. But it's a new weapon prototype that will undoubtedly steal all the attention. It's being called Thanatos. Cool. The death kill super bomb. Awesome, I love it. That's definitely what we should be doing with the thing that has the power to fucking just regenerate life at whim. Note from Andrew and Fisher. Tracing the life seed's location was a simple matter. After years of tracking the epicenter of the Pliocene extinction event, I was led to this valley's location. I couldn't believe my eyes. Upon immediate examination of one of the orbs, I discovered their vast potential their vast energy potential. With the help of the Pathfinders, I was able to locate the life seed within the valley. Oppenheimer won't believe his ears upon hearing the marvels I've accomplished. <sighs> oh, God. No, from Andrew Fisher. When I'm not a science person, I couldn't help but see the end of Oppenheimer reflected in him. I was astonished by his clairvoyance and the fact that he was psychic. Why? Um, into the makeup of our universe. Uh, also his telekinesis was pretty cool. Uh, he gave me a tarot reading and he said that I was going to be an asshole. Um, I'm aware that that's not the clairvoyance that they meant, but... 
How from researcher quantum death and immortality using leaf technology is a fascinating field. So using this tech, a person could live out the full life without fear of accidental cutting it short, albeit with the use of immortality is a misnomer, as the user shifts between a new timeline wherein they are still alive. It's going to hold true until all practical timelines are exhausted. For example, an elderly man dying of natural causes is unlikely to shift into a timeline where they do not die, and as that parallel world is very unlikely to exist. Okay. That's actually pretty interesting. That's pretty fucking cool. I can dig it. Why is there like a sound of like a fucking like newsreel over here? What? Weird. Um. Um. That's actually like a kind of cool thing. Oh, fuck these notes. This Fisher guy is out of his mind. A total megalomaniac. Just look at the Pathfinder statue in the main lobby. I can't believe we have to take orders from him unquestionably during this wartime. Surely I can't be the only one that feels this way. Why the hell is Fisher making his ramp up production? We're already working ourselves half to death down here. Now he wants us sleep deprived and working around the clock? We're working on explosives for crying out loud. Yeah. How about that? Beep, beep. Um. Oh, hey. Um. Oh, water. Second, I was like, why should I, do I even need to? And then I was like, oh, wait. If I touch water, I die. And that's not great. Rain block overhead, eh? Do I need it? Oh. Hmm? Hmm? I don't. Yep. Also, I gotta say, once again, running through this fucking uh, area and stuff made me really think that this game would be incredible to speedrun. Woo! Still don't fully understand those mechanics. Got medallion. Yay! That was worth it. This wall is now powered. Oh, shit, that's gotta do something, right? This game just wouldn't have just like a power thing but nothing of power, yeah? Right? Like powering this elevator? It's busted and broke. Oh, way cool that worked. Um. The valley, it's suffering. Yeah, really. I never would have guessed. The natural life here seems to be slowly dwindling. Yeah, how about that? Thinks I'm crazy, but I see it becoming Acorn, acorn, acorn. 26, that's so many. Were they harming the valley? Yeah, dude! Obviously! Like, they're so. They're, they're draining the orbs and killing the demons and shit. Like, obviously. How. Like, they've explicitly said that they're using the energy from, like, the life force of this place to make bombs. How much more blatantly evil and shit do you have to get? Oh shit, it's this fucking place! I knew this was a thing. I knew this fucking. This was... Oh shit, um... Pew, pew, pew. Oh fuck, that's two of them. Um... Oh shit. Boo boo! Boo boo! Oh fuck. Yeah. I knew that was a thing. I knew it! I was right. I was right. Fucking nailed it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 
Yeah, sure, I guess I'll have a fucking granola bar. Um, Alright, let's just fucking jump down here, I guess. Oh, wait. Oop. I was a girl within the valley, you advanced to pass of energy. Pendulum aims to win the war by harnessing this energy using the life seed. Bombs created using this energy have the potential to destroy entire cities. Cool, man. Also, why? Like, we've already got the power to just suck the life out of things. Why do you need to, like, blow things up? That seems really impractical. Like, no, at the risk of... Hello? Pissing push up. Oh, fuck. Boom, boom, boom. Like, at, at the risk of sounding like a fucking supervillain. Oh, goddammit. ...will allow Pathfinders to achieve an unprecedented velocity. By energizing the tunnel rails, the leaf suit should conduct enough energy to reach immense speeds. Hell yeah. Oh, fuck. Um, but yeah, at the risk of... <laughs> at the risk of sounding like a supervillain, um... Why bomb, like, why bomb a place when you can just, like, kill all the people there and not destroy the infrastructure and stuff? Like, what's the point of bombing a city when you can not bomb the city and instead, like, oh, fuck. I, I'm having a real hard time keeping this up. Um... Like, keeping up talking. Because pure elation. Oh, fuck, man. This game knows how to fucking... Just have scenes of pure elation. Like, just absolute wonderment. Oh. This music! And just fucking speeding through this shit, and the fucking super glow every time I land on this. Oh fuck, man. I don't even care that I'm missing shit. I'm definitely missing shit, but I don't fucking even care. Oh, man. Zoom, zoom, motherfucker. I won't have no hungry bugs. Woo! Especially since this shit also recharges me anyway. Boom, boom, boom! Woo! <laughs> Just slam my face in that wall. Down or up? Up. Zoom zoom! Woo! Oh, it didn't matter if I went down or up. Cool! Oh, hell yeah! Oh, hell yeah! Oh, Fuck, man. Sweet dreams are made of this. Oh, shit. Oh. Game, you know how to fucking just... capture a moment of pure elation and wonder. Oh. Like holy shit, man. This is like an on trail like a on tracks literally just going forward section, but the like the movement of it. Oh god, why aren't people writing like 
thesis -y. Th 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 How has no one written a thesis about this fucking game? Cuz... Oh my fucking lord. This is... Like, I, re I, I haven't played the new Spider-Man game. Um, I've heard great things about how it does, like, you know, web slinging movement and shit. Um, and I remember Spider-Man 2 for the PlayStation 2 was, like, pretty incredible on that front. I think this might be a bad idea that I'm doing here, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, like, Spider-Man 2 for the PS2 was fucking like, incredible for, like, web-slinging action. Um, did I accidentally cut out, like, a section? Or is this a secret thing? Or... You know what? I don't fucking care. Um, but, like... And uh, apparently the new Spider-Man game also fucking nails it. I... I don't know, man. This is... It, it, very hard to beat this. In terms of just pure joy of movement. I can't shoot that far. Bug that's cheating. Like, I've never played a game where just moving is this... Oh, and that! Building up to that fucking crescendo there. Holy shit, game! The... Oh! Oh! Holy fuck, man! Fuck, I can't even read right now. I can't even read. I'm... Oh, fuck. My whole brain just got fried with, like... And... Oh, hey! Leg Day achievement. I don't know what that is, but presumably... It's for beating this section. And running real good. Um, but yeah, like, my brain is just, like, fucking fried on, like, I don't know, I guess serotonin? I should know that, I was a psych major. <laughs> oh shit, it's full energy. Dude, I'm already basically a god. I have power over life and death, and I can run and jump really good. What can your god do that I can? Um... I don't like that guy. He's a real jerk bot. To stream and put on the reactors beyond state limits, even f ever since the ramp up, I feel like I'm risking my life coming down here to do the best checks. We better finish up soon, I don't know how much more reactor you can take. Uh, big red button. Oh shit, that's a fucking door. Oh shit, we're opening like the fucking vault, huh? Oh, dang, man. 
Alright, uh... You know what? Let's check that out next time. Because this seems spooky, and this was too f much fun and elation. So, let's, let's leave the spooky in next episode. And leave the running and the jumping and the wee in this episode. Well, hopefully that'll also carry over into next one. Because this game does have a lot of running and jumping and wee. But, you know what I mean. Um... But yeah, so, uh, yeah. See you next time, everyone.